What is up friends on YouTube and welcome back to the channel and this is going to be my POCO M3 full experience. Now this video includes the unboxing, review, gaming, sound test and a lot more. So stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, so the POCO M3 is the successor to the POCO M2 wherein the major highlight is the 6000 mAh battery. For a quick overview of the box itself, we have a plain POCO yellow box which does show a few features underneath that states the RAM, storage and color variant which is power black. So now, let's get into the unboxing. First we have the welcome packet which contains the SIM injector tool. Inside we get a few more stuff which includes the warranty card and user guide, a complimentary jelly case which is always nice, although compared to the POCO X3 this is more of a generic approach with a little design by POCO towards the bottom. In the device itself, which we'll set aside for now. Now do note that this package is slightly different from what it is often seen online as it doesn't come with the baller bands and wristbands. The package also contains a 22.5 watt fast charger along with a USB Type-C cable for charging and data transfer. So here's the POCO M3 itself with a few key features smack in the center for your viewing needs. Now what's interesting about the POCO M3 is the design choice, as it comes with this unique faux leather finish. Now one fun fact to note is that the faux leather is not exactly leather, it's synthetic material, which is close to PVC but is a lot more durable than plastic, which can endure drops and scratches, which is really good as an alternative for smartphone materials. And can also be stylish at the same time because of that leather-ish feel in the head. The POCO X3 comes with a triple camera configuration where the primary lens is a 48 megapixel wide lens paired with a 2 megapixel macro sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor with an LED flash. Towards the right of the device are the volume rockers which are both clicky and tactile and a flush power button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner which performs exceptionally well considering the price of the POCO M3. Now underneath the device is the primary microphone, the USB Type-C port and the bottom firing speaker grill. Towards the left side of the device is the SIM card tray that houses two nano SIM cards and a dedicated micro SD card slot for expandable storage up to 512 gigabytes. And up top is the secondary microphone, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a secondary speaker, as well as the IR blaster, which is a very nice feature to have at this price point. Now in terms of feel in the hand, I honestly can't wrap my head around the fact that this comes with a 6,000 mAh battery inside. Since the POCO M3 comes with that plastic build, despite that big battery, it feels so much lighter and comfortable in the hand, which is great for long hours of use, be it with binge watching or gaming, or by simply browsing the internet. The POCO M3 does come with a pre-installed screen protector, though personally I removed it since I prefer the feel of glass over plastic. And in terms of specifications, the POCO M3 comes with the following a 6.53 inch full HD plus display at 1080p resolution, equipped with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 662 processor, paired with the Adreno 610 GPU, 4 gigabytes of LPDDR4X RAM, with storage options of 64 or 128 gigabytes that is expandable via micro SD. A triple camera setup with a 6000 mAh battery, which I cannot stress enough, that has support for 18 watt fast charging that comes in three color variants, which is the Poco Yellow, Cool Blue, and power black. The POCO M3 does come with a POCO modified MIUI 12 over Android 10, which at the time of this video has received two updates to date. Now despite what others claim, the user experience is actually pretty smooth and fluid. There was some noticeable lag at first boot, but as soon as the device was done with all the system updates and was configured to how I use an Android device, everything feels a lot more smooth and fluid and it doesn't even feel like an entry level smartphone. The POCO M3 does come with 120 gigabytes of internal storage, but it does come with a few apps pre-installed which can be removed should you wish to do so. And because MIUI 12 is all about visual enhancements, we get to see this beautifully made graphics for details on what is consumed with that 19 to 20 gigabytes of storage from the overall storage capacity. The POCO M3 also comes with a few security features which includes the traditional password and PIN, face unlock, fingerprint and Bluetooth device which allows you to unlock your device with the use of a smartwatch. Setting up the fingerprint scanner takes a few minutes and it does work seamlessly. Now some say it's a bit slow but personally it feels just right. I mean some smartphones at this price point don't even have a fingerprint sensor and yet the M3 has one and is very accurate so it's still a win for me. 
Now in terms of photography, the POCO M3 doesn't have the special features as seen on higher end devices, but it does provide a user interface that is very functional. It comes with HDR mode, AI photography, beautification, Google Lens, and a few other features that can enhance your photo taking skills. This includes the aspect ratio adjustment, a timer, movie frame, macro, time lapse, and time burst. Now in terms of video recording, the POCO M3 only comes with two shooting modes, which is the 720p and 1080p at 30 frames per second respectively. It also comes with a portrait mode, which takes advantage of the depth sensor, adding that dramatic effect or blur when taking photos. And by tapping on the more, it gives you additional shooting modes, such as slow motion, a dedicated 48 megapixel shooting mode. You can even scan documents, night mode, and panorama. And if you're feeling a little bit adventurous and likes a bit of a challenge, the POCO M3 also comes with a pro mode, which allows you to tweak the settings from the ISO, the white balance, the aperture, etc. Here are a few samples taken with the POCO M3. In terms of gaming, the POCO M3 comes with a very capable Snapdragon 662 processor paired with the Adreno 610 GPU, which allows you to experience gaming at an enjoyable experience. The chip itself is geared towards mobile gaming and imaging-based applications for the lower end of the spectrum, allowing those who spend less enjoy more. Now this is Call of Duty Mobile, a well-known shooting game for major consoles now on a mobile platform. Although it does allow you to set things to high graphics, I opted to leave it at medium settings since the gameplay is already smooth and fluid. So do keep in mind that pushing the performance too much can potentially cause problems. And although the Snapdragon 662 processor is a very capable chipset, pushing that to the extremes may not give you the enjoyable experience you are looking for. Just so you know. In terms of battery life, because the mid-range configuration plus the 6,000 mAh battery, the POCO M3 can easily last an easy two to three days with moderate use or even more. Now, the display on the M3 is punching way above its class, to be honest. Equipped with a 1080p display, it gives you that enjoyable experience when consuming content. Although it can only go up to 400 nits brightness, it won't be an issue as the display is decently bright in most occasions or situations. In terms of audio, the POCO M3 comes with a stereo speaker setup, which does add to the experience, allowing you to really immerse yourselves with movies or games. It does get quite loud, but nothing too alarming. Here's a sample taken in a public cafe. Yo, crisis point coming at you. In conclusion, the POCO M3, which is just priced below $150, is arguably one of the best smartphones you can get in 2020, especially if you're tight on a budget and is looking for a smartphone that can be dependable to a driver. The POCO M3 is your best bet. Links are in the description down below for convenience. Now, before we end this video, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank all my subscribers and followers since I started this venture of being a tech YouTuber. 
and as a sign of appreciation, I'm gonna be doing a special giveaway open to everyone who is currently following me and is subscribed to the channel. This giveaway will run for the next two to three weeks and the winner will be contacted via Instagram or Facebook after the two to three week period. So if you want to win this special giveaway, make sure to follow the steps and instructions and the mechanics to qualify, which are all in the description down below. So good luck to everyone. Thanks again to everyone who's helped me reach this milestone. I'm very much looking forward to the next. This is Chris once again from Crisis Point, and I'll catch you with the next one.